Over 5,000 people have been killed in Nepal's horrific tragedy and as international help pours in from across the globe, quick survivors were left with a bitter aftertaste. Pakistan supplied ready-to-eat beef meals to the Hindu-majority nation in the immediate aftermath of its worst earthquake in years. Under Nepali law, there is a blanket ban on cow slaughter. The Nepali government has said it will order an internal inquiry to verify the matter, as well as raise it diplomatically with Pakistan. The Nepal government has also said India will be informed of key developments. Meanwhile, senior RSS functionary Datta Shre Hasbole told TVTN's managing editor Rahul Kamal Pakistan's move was highly insensitive. The RSS has called upon the Nepal government to look into the issue. Well, before uh, I take you through the reactions that we are getting and of course uh, that uh, interview with uh, the senior RSS functionary, let me quickly show you what uh, our uh, sister concern mail today has in fact this exclusive report that they have filed in, uh, today. This is about the ready to eat meals. These were of course supplied uh, to Nepal as a part of the relief uh, consignment as a part of the relief consignment that was uh, sent to Nepal by Pakistan. And the picture that you see here, in fact, we are also showing it to you on the screen. It shows that these packets carry potato, bujia and beef masala. This was the ingredients. This was the description of the ingredients of these ready to eat meals that have been sent as a relief material by Pakistan to Nepal. This, of course, has created a massive diplomatic furor uh, between Nepal and Pakistan. Nepal being the only Hindu nation in the world, a Hindu majority nation, has in fact slammed this move uh, and, has, uh, uh, and they have said that they are going to take it up uh, with the government of uh, Pakistan. This, in fact, a lot of people are slamming it as utter insensitivity on part of uh, Pakistan. This, uh, in fact, uh, 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 Mail Today newspaper, Our Sister Concern, has, uh, has in fact come up with this story today. It is an exclusive Mail Today story that we are reporting, of course, on. And uh, this story has now not only brought in the limelight, the insensitivity shown by Pakistan, but also a major diplomatic row that has now taken place between both the countries. So at one, on one hand, where uh, the efforts are on to make sure that relief material is uh, sent to the farthest corner of Nepal, this story highlights how utter insensitivity, apathy has been shown by Pakistan, although they were uh, sending this as of the part of the relief material, but it seems they have completely messed it up by sending sending it uh, the beef masala along with the ready to eat meal let me quickly go across uh, to deputy uh, shiv arur who's joining us uh, from uh, the newsroom for more on this uh, shiv more than the apathy more than the insensitivity it's, it's utter lack of knowledge common knowledge by the pakistani side to just send this beef meal to a country which is majority hindu you know, uh, uh, the, the, the lead story in Mail today, today, I just want to hold it up for our viewers because they can get a sense of, uh, you know, the kind of story this really is that Mail today has chosen to lead with in its breaking coverage, uh, you know, of the, you know, the quake relief operations, Ankit. Uh, you've you're bang on about, you know, precisely what this story actually indicates. It indicates on one level complete ignorance of the law in Nepal, which is, uh, you know, a country that uh, Pakistan does a lot of trade with. This is complete ignorance of local customs. It's complete ignorance, uh, you know, complete lack of knowledge, blissful lack of knowledge of, uh, you know, local sensitivities. Let me just remind our viewers and tell them why this is a story. The cow is officially designated a sacred animal under Nepal law, point number one. Point number two, eating, consuming beef, selling beef, the trade in beef is a crime under 
the law in Nepal. It entails uh, punishment up to 12 years in prison. So basically what that means is by shipping beef masala to, uh, 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 to, to uh, Nepal, what Pakistan has done is basically done two things. A, they violated the Nepali law. B, they've been completely blissfully ignorant about local sensitivities, religious customs yes. and the, the law itself. And C, most importantly, perhaps given that this is a crisis situation, there's an emergency that's been declared in Nepal as a result of this. Cooked items are not even allowed in Nepal at this point of time. Right. But that's, of course, the least of all these problems. What this indicates, uh, Ankit, is, uh, is that, you know, in the flurry to actually be seen to put all this stuff into Nepal, uh, first of all, Pakistan had covered all its relief material with Pakistan flags. When their relief personnel landed there, they were carrying a Pakistan flag flag yeah. so this was more about showmanship perhaps some kind of competition you know with the manner in which India was leading the entire rescue and relief effort than actually trying to help out uh, you know a neighbor nation in the region so I think beef masala was you know something that was you know about to come it was it uh, uh, the, the fact that Pakistan wasn't really paying attention to the quality of the relief it was providing to Nepal meant that you know this kind of uh, you know, unbelievable gaffe, unbelievable sort of oversight or whether it was deliberate, that of course we will never really know, uh, yeah. you, know uh, you know, was just simply waiting to happen, Ankit. In fact, uh, Shiv, you know, if, if, you, if you go through this uh, story that uh, the Mail Today, in fact, uh, has uh, put out uh, today as their uh, uh, lead story, it very clearly mentions that Indian doctors, uh, those who were the Indian doctors working in Kathmandu, they were the ones in, who spotted this and brought it into the nation, uh, into the knowledge of the authorities. Shiv, you know, as you were as you were also pointing out, uh, the mail today story that has come out. Of course, it has now resulted in a massive diplomatic row between Pakistan and Nepal. It just seems that not only Pakistan was unaware, it as uh, as you were also mentioning. It, they were sort of in a competition right now it was only to show that we also are a par as far as the southeast region, the region is concerned southeast Asia region is concerned and in that hurry in just to market themselves they have made a blunder it's a terrible it's a terrible waste of resources it's a terrible waste of aircraft that are flying into uh, nepal that can you know that could have been used to supply uh, you know medicines tents uh, you know other kinds of essential items that pakistan uh, that nepal is in desperate need of instead what you've seen is a combination of ignorance perhaps insensitivity, systemic oversight and blissful unawareness of what really is the requirement in Nepal and perhaps an overarching sense of wanting to compete uh, with India and to a far less extent China, Pakistan actually sending a prepared food item called beef masala. We don't know if this was a preheated item or a cooked item, but whatever it is, it violates the law. It displays rampant ignorance on the part of Pakistan uh, and, and you know a level of carelessness that is actually breathtaking. Uh, Pakistan very well knows what the customs are in Nepal. Pakistan cannot claim official ignorance. Yes. Whether this was a lower, lower level, uh, you know, uh, uh, afterthought or an oversight, it cannot be an excuse, Ankit, because the story that Mail Today has basically highlighted shows that Pakistan has overstepped itself in trying to perhaps compete with India. But like I said, there can never be an excuse as far as oversight is concerned, hmm. because Pakistan has relations, has diplomatic relations with Nepal. Right. Several Pakistanis live in Nepal and vice versa. They, they have diplomatic relations. There is, there, there is a connection in many other ways as well in terms of trade. It's not like Pakistan is blissfully unaware uh, you know, of Nepal. They're also, uh, they also have a certain geographical proximity mm. uh, you know, in the region. It's very well known yeah. uh, you know, what the laws are in Nepal as far as uh, you know, consumption of beef, selling of beef, uh, you know, the beef trade is concerned. The cow is considered officially a sacred animal there and therefore this mail today exclusive uh, report this morning uh, you know is not really surprising this was perhaps something you know waiting to happen and if you look at the resonance that this story has had on social media I can tell you that there are several voices out there now whether we give them credence or not is a different story altogether but there are several you know voices out there who actually suggest something more sinister. Yeah. They say that, you know, this could be, this could be, uh, you know, a, 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 a much more than just an oversight, much more than just an accident, and definitely something more insidious than just uh, ignorance. Now, whether that's true or not, perhaps we'll never know. But I think uh, at the most basic level, yes. uh, the kind of ignorance that Pakistan has, you know, 
clearly uh, clearly sort of displayed by sending beef masala to Nepal uh, is 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 quite surprising. Uh, you know, a certain degree of acrimony has already crept in, which has no place at a time like this when the you know real focus and the real priority is reaching effective relief material uh, to the people who need it the most in uh, Nepal. But no, uh, uh, as, as so far, no reports yet of any reaction from Pakistan. Yes. Even though we do know, like uh, Astha's report uh, in Shere, May today. In fact, uh, talking uh, about that reaction, that I'm, I'm getting Hamza Amir, our colleague uh, from Pakistan. He's joining us uh, on the phone line as of uh, uh, now. Let me quickly go across uh, uh, to Hamza for more on this. Uh, uh, Hamza, what a big blunder this is sending beef uh, masala to as relief material to Nepal. Are you picking up some sort of a reaction from Pakistan because the government in Nepal is extremely upset with the kind of relief material, the ready to eat uh, material that has been sent to them? Uh, well, over here, the officials from the Pakistan government side are actually unaware of, uh, you know, the, the kind of supplies that are going. All they have said is that they are not completely sure of what, what supplies are going. They only know that, you know, supplies are actually underway hmm. and they are being going to Nepal under the governance and uh, the, the flights of Pakistan Air Force. Yeah. So they have actually said that, you know, all these supplies that are going uh, over there are not only limited to the beef masala, but also to the medical aid and everything that is required in Nepal. Yes. Uh, that the base are actually being governed by the Pakistan Air Force. Hamza. And the government officials have said they're not aware of it. Hamza, but the question is that this uh, big mail today story that has come out today, uh, in which they have in fact uh, exclusively shown how beef masala was part of the ready to eat meal in the relief material from Pakistan. This completely shows that the Pakistan government, the armed forces, they do not either they either do not have any knowledge of the customs of uh, of of the, the the laws of Nepal. But it seems that if they did, then it's a complete blunder. It is a diplomatic row. Now the Nepal government is extremely upset. They are going to take it up with the, the Pakistani authorities. Do you believe, uh, as they are claiming ignorance, that uh, it? It might, it may just be, uh, you know, as Pakistan is uh, saying that it's, they are just passing the buck to the armed forces. They did not know that beef is banned in Nepal? Well, and I think, you know, if they actually were not aware of it, then that's a big blunder. Uh, because then that means that there was no homework done. As far as I am concerned, what I understand is that their job is to actually pick up luggages and, you know, stuff up in the plane and just send them over to Nepal. This is what their job is. What yeah. needs to be seen is that, you know, who are the people, who are the companies, the NGOs who are actually sending their aid in form of uh, supplies to Nepal. Mm. And that is very important. If they are the ones who are actually sending these things and they are not being checked, then that's also another blunder yeah. on Pakistan's part. That, you know, one, they are not aware of what is going. Anyone can send anything. And that can be even not only a beef masala, that can be even be explosives or anything else that is more deadlier. Uh, uh, you know, so I think, you know, this is this is certainly a blunder on both sides and will have to be looked into with serious intent from the Pakistan side. Hamza, you know, uh, there is also now uh, uh, one, one, uh, one, uh, the, you know, one sort of argument that is coming through is it seems that Pakistan was in such a hurry to, to send this relief material in competition with India that they did not even look into what they were sending. Is that a sense that you get from the authorities? There was a competition just uh, uh, to make sure that India does not score diplomatically? Well, it was actually felt over here in Pakistan as well that, you know, how quick was Pakistan to respond? It, I think in about 48 hours, but the first batch from Pakistan was actually gone. And then, you know, a quick fire a hospital has also been established and the army actually has been sending out press releases, you know, hailing uh, their uh, troops were actually setting up, uh, you know, medical camps and everything that is required in Nepal and they're working hard, as they say. But obviously, I think this seems to be a competition because even when there are disasters hit inside Pakistan, Pakistan mm. takes a good long time to respond, uh, at least with relief aid and rehabilitation. So that was something that I think, you know, felt also in Pakistan as well, that how quick Pakistan was to respond. Yeah. Uh, though, uh, knowing the fact that in Pakistan also, there were a few devastations due to rain in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. Right. Where people are still waiting for the relief aid to come. And while, you know, Pakistan was quick to respond to Nepal, so that is surprising also and suspicious. All right, Hamza Amir, thank you so much for bringing those details. Of course, Hamza will get us the official reaction as soon as it comes from the side of the Pakistanis. They, as of now, saying that they are not aware, trying to pass the buck to the military, to the government, and the government to the military. But uh, 
utter insensitivity apathy shown there by the pakistani side even in their competition to send this relief material uh, to nepal this head uh, this mail today exclusive in fact have nailed how pakistan has utterly failed